what is up you guys long time no see it's your girl beauty with mika and i'm here to give you guys a september favorite you guys know i took a break during the summer because really let's be honest who wear makeup during the summertime but i will show you guys the makeup that i have been wearing for the summer along with the foundation so you guys can honestly see what has been working for me what have i been using and we'll go ahead and discuss that so so let's go ahead and get started so shout out to my girl Kay. she is a makeup artist in atlanta i will put her instagram page down below if you guys are looking for a makeup artist in atlanta to go ahead and travel she will give you makeup lessons tips help you customize a beauty collection and everything but yeah, i recommended that i started using the super goop play everyday face lotion what this is is a basically an spf it has an spf of 50 i bought this probably about uh, six months ago it's 19 dollars at sephora i pretty much highly recommend this i apply this on my face before i actually put any makeup on my face i've been using this i also put it on my hands and everything because you guys know going to get gel manicures and all that so i have been using this and when i tell you guys nothing has budge move or anything it is water resistant and sweat resistant for up to 80 minutes so i plan to repurchase some more of this but i use this as my first step when i am putting on my makeup now the foundations that i have been using this summer is the nars natural radiant i still am going to use this for the month of september along with my fenty eavesdrop blurring skin um tint in the shade 21. these have been my summer go-to's right now i love that this one just gives me more of a natural everyday wear and this one gives me a little bit of glow and it does blur out my imperfections because i do have some pores in my cheek area now let's go ahead and talk about what i've been loving what worked for me and then i'm gonna swap out everything this is the elf power grip primer this is a dupe for the milk hydro grip primer i'll tell you guys i love this it's ten dollars i do plan to repurchase it you guys can see i have been using a hell out of this now on to some concealed color correctors you guys know i've only been using one color corrector and this is the la pro girl color correcting concealer i did recently purchase a new one in the shade just orange color correct I got my my new one at Ulta because now they sell at Ulta. I remember these were $1.99 and now they went up to $4.99 now an eye primer that they no longer sell but i've had this for a while is the urban decay eye potion primer and caffeine caffeine is more of your neutral woman of color friendly um color they came out with this a while back but urban decay was the first eye primer that i had started using and buying when it was twenty dollars and you know it's one of those old school ogs all right the huda beauty faux filter concealer in the shade hazelnut this one is an 8.1 neutral i will say i do like this concealer you have to go in store to get swatches because the shade that i thought i was going to be it was actually too dark so looks can be deceiving online so i noticed with some foundations and concealers you do need to go in store and swatch it it's okay if you do order and you need to return it for a shade lighter but this one is really good it doesn't budge it doesn't move it doesn't actually crease and it sets perfectly under my eyes i even wear this on those no makeup type of days and this works really really good now over here i am going to change out my laura mercier translucent setting powder you guys know i have been using my black radiance um setting powder which i plan to repurchase but laura mercier has been my tried and true i remember when it was 32 dollars and now it's like 39 dollars or i think it was like 29 dollars when i first purchased this correct me i'm wrong it had to be between 29 and 32 dollars but since then it's went up to 39 dollars and i still purchase these during a sephora sale they currently sell laura mercier at ulta so you can get more bang for your buck by purchasing this at um ulta all right, so some lip balms I put in here. Obviously, I keep my regular chapsticks, and then I recently added my Summer Fridays lip balms in Poppy and Vanilla. Poppy is a new shade, so you get a little bit of hint of orange. This is a new packaging. I recently used up the old packaging, which I'm excited about, but these will stay in here always. Um, I added a hair clip in here, and then this is the Lawless Translucent Setting Powder. I really like this to set under eyes to brighten up my eyes, so this is gonna stay in here now some things that i know you guys are wondering this is the milani bronzer now i will tell you guys i don't even think they sell this anymore this one's in earth glow if i can find it on the website then i'll go ahead and link it um i use this to just crease under my eyes to to put in my translucent i use this to go ahead and put in the crease of my eyes just so i could go ahead and when i had those no makeup type of days this was going definitely in you know the, my crease area 
and then this oh my god if you do not have this girl stop this video go purchase it use Rakuten my link is down below if you are not signed up for Rakuten which was we all know is eBay this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Free Sun's Kit Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer I'm in the shade 4D girl this thing is addictive I am surprised I want to take this out of my collection right now because when I tell you guys I have been using this this has been my go to this summer i have worn this set it you only need a little bit and it gives that natural finish omg i know i don't post a lot of selfies all the time on my instagram but follow me on there because you guys this is a must have like find your shade and get it it is not i don't even know this isn't refillable but charlotte tilbury has been doing the damn thing so this i i just gotta pull it out that's addictive like i could use that all year long this is the covergirl queen bronzer in the shade ebony bronze i pulled this out but it's honestly old i haven't used it in years it has some sparkle to it i'm still gonna hold on to it because i do like to use bronzers in my crease of my eyes and i like to mix it up and play it up so i am gonna hold on to this but i'll be honest with you guys i've had this for five plus years so that says a lot about makeup in general um let's see some things that i won't be changing but i did add was the anastasia dip brow pomade i'm in the shade chocolate i have recently been wanting to definitely amp up my brow routine and i've been using this a little bit of it goes a long way as you can see it's i see why people use this a lot um and just to let you guys know i did move my makeup back into my everyday drawer versus on my vanity i just wanted a more clean look this is my uh, charlotte tilbury flawless finish um setting powder in the shade four she recently came out with some new setting powders that's supposed to be lighter i'm gonna check it out and let you guys know what i thought what my thoughts are but this will stay in here and then for let's see something i want to show you guys was the nyx control free brow gel this is really good you sit there and just push up your brows it stays in place it doesn't crunch or anything i am currently using for brows is the juvia's place sculpt what is this juvia's place eye sculpt brow pencil in the shade chocolate i actually like this now that i found a better shade in it it doesn't give me any issues i actually have a backup and i don't see any issues with it um i will say i will be definitely using it but i definitely want to just go over to some other brow pencils that i have Something that I'm not really a fan of right now because I don't like the brush on here is the Milk Makeup Kush Waterproof Mascara. I don't like the brush on here so I will not be repurchasing this. It clumps up and when you push it in it's like you're using more product and you're pushing it out. So um, it does do a good job at combing your lashes and everything but I think they need to fix the brush on here. I'm not a really big fan. I don't really care if the mascara is waterproof or not honestly because... It just doesn't bother me. Um, something that I did recently add was my Anastasia Brow Gel in the shade Chocolate. I have been using this from time to time also, depending on what type of makeup look I'm going for. Let's go over here to blushes and powders. This is the Laura Mercier Grapefruit Blush Infusion Powder Infusion uh, Blush. This is really cool. I'm not going to lie. It was good for the summer, but now it's time to go um another blush that i am going to keep in here is this wet and wild i went old school my girl's k's way here on youtube was talking about a lot of old school wet and wild stuff i know it was her and candace victoria i'll post their channels down below if you guys are interested in following them um this is mellow wine this was one of those old school blushes like old school back in like 2012 2013 of youtube days and i love this it gives just enough like hit to your eye to your uh blush to your cheeks whenever you want it so this is staying in here because sometimes i just want that mm. now this my other sister case i'll post her channel she is my island girl sister she was talking about this during the sephora sale recently in the spring and this was the sephora golden hour highlighter duo this is in the shade nightfall i picked this up because you guys know during the sephora sales they do sephora brands for 30 percent off this is actually cool i will say that i've been using more of this highlighter and it gives just enough you do need to go a little heavy-handed on it but it does what it's supposed to do now powder i am basically i already hit pan on my makeup forever duo matte powder i believe i have one more of these left i'm in the shade 218 they discontinued it so i am going to be going over to their matte velvet but here it goes you guys know i love this powder i could wear it by itself or on top of any foundation i've had and it's never given me any issues so i really am going to hate to see this go but i need to go on and just we need to you know 
it's done. Uh, a blush was from Beauty Bakery by Size. This is their Snickeroo blush in the shade Freshly Baked. I got this one at Target about a year ago and this one is definitely is a staple product. I'm probably going to keep this in here for September but I'll put it to the side. Alright, now some things that I've been loving. The Hourglass Volume 3 Ambient Light Palette. Girl, I love this thing. Um, Hourglass did go ahead and fix what they should have done. But this is definitely good. I highly say go ahead and get this. It is women of color friendly. If I could sign this, find the swatches at any Mika, go ahead and put the swatches in here. I did swatch these in store a while ago when I purchased, before I purchased this. And I got it during the Sephora sale. I actually, this made me want to go back to like probably purchasing some originals from the Hourglass. But I know this has just been the most beautiful against my skin tone now that one's going this one i'm probably going to keep in here because i do need a highlighter this is the nars maldives maldives highlighter i got this in a boxy charm box and i was like okay it's cool um so i picked it no i didn't get this in a boxy charm i actually picked this up at home goods girl this would have to be about less than ten dollars so i picked it up at home goods because you guys know i don't really try um nars's highlighter so that's why i picked this up so this is going to stay in here because i've been using other highlighters a palette that you guys have seen me swatch if you're not following me again on Instagram is the Too Faced Better Than Chocolate. I am not going to lie. I like it. I I do. Um, it is repeat shades. I know that. I know that they also recently came out with another palette and they changed the packaging. But I like this palette. I know that I have colors in here and yada yada. But I was like, you know what? I like it. I do like that I can actually use most of the shades in here and it gives me a nice look. It's not something you need to purchase, so I wouldn't say go run out and purchase this. It's not one of those must-haves. I was just in one of those shopping friends where I was like, I just want to purchase some stuff. And I went on and grabbed this, but you don't really need this. I'm not going to lie to you until you go purchase it. You don't need this, girl. All right. So, a uh, palette. This is the Pat McGrath palette. Girl, I can't believe. I think this thing was $29. This is her mini eyeshadow palette in Midnight Voyage. This is really pretty. It is a really pretty palette. I'm not going to lie and say I didn't like it. I really do like this palette. I would love to see Pat McGrath do more palettes like this or even larger with just colors and not a lot of that wow, you know, iridescent um, shade. So I do like this. I like that this is one of those you could take with you for a quick night out and you can go day to night easily with it or you know give a smoky look so it's kind of one of those all-in-ones and i do like this so if you don't grab this now i had didn't actually use this on to keep it in here this is the danessa myers color fix matte it is a waterproof eyeshadow in the shade rustic so i'm gonna keep this in here just so i could try it out and then this, you guys know, I don't have many ColourPop um, palettes. This is the Sonic Bloom. So this was good for the summer why it was. But I feel like I don't need it. But I'm going to keep it because I know that this is one of those go-tos for me. All right. A palette that I did not use because I don't really have many Anastasia palettes. I have this one and I know I have the Jackie Ina. And I don't think I have many more than that. So I definitely am going to get my foot back into this one. So I'm going to keep this in here for September. All right, so now everything is cleared out. Let's talk about what I'm putting in. All right, so for concealers, these are the Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Multi Full Coverage Multi-Use Concealers in the shade 55N and 59 Neutral. I got 59 Neutral because that is my foundation shade for the Best Skin Ever, and then I got 59 55N as my highlighter shade. So we're gonna pop those in here. For eye primers and color correctors, we're going with the Color Rain um, Paint Base Eyeshadow with Squalene and Sodium something in the shade Wheat. So we're going to put that right there. Um, let's see. For color correcting, we're going to go with the Neutrogena Color Correcting Concealer. This is a clear coverage with niacinamide. I just got the shade Orange. I got mine off Walmart, so I'll make sure I post the link down below for you guys. For primers, we're going to go with this new Milk pore eclipse mattifying primer i got this one in the travel size to see if i like it because y'all know i love the milk hydro grip so we're gonna try that and then let's see for foundations we're still gonna use the nars natural radiant in the shade new calderonian and we're gonna use the fenty east drop in the shade 21 let's go on to 
uh, eyeshadow palette. So eyeshadows, we're going to go ahead and use this Natasha Denona palette. I got the mini bronze palette. You guys know I have the larger one, so I'm going to put the mini in here. So that's another neutral palette. And then we're going to go with this Huda Beauty Love Fest palette. I did go ahead and pick this up along with the new fragrance that she came out with because you guys know I love these $29 palettes from Huda. So uh, my girl, she needs to continue to do that. All right, so we have our palettes for blush. We will be using the new Juvia's Place Blush in the shade Volume 3. You guys know I love these blushes. Um, I have blush Volume 3 and Volume 5. So insert editing Mika. Go ahead and put the swatches. If you guys, again, not follow me on Instagram, you should because when I buy products, I definitely swatch it on my Instagram. All right, and we're going to go back with this Wet n Wild Mellow Wine just so I can have a little bit of softness to the face and then for powder we're going to use this huda beauty powder in cinnamon bun i really do like this i have loved this i gave it back a try this one doesn't have a scent so i believe the new formula she took away the scent from it so we're going to put that right here and then let's see for oh for another primer we're also going to try this this is a sample size of the one size secure the blur makeup magnet primer my girl k again Make sure you check out Kay for all your Atlanta makeup needs, everything. I'll have her Facebook, her Instagram page down below. But she told me to try this and I was like, before I buy it, I was able to get this for free. So I'm inserting that in there so you guys can see what that's about. And then, of course, we're going back to the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Finish for my under eyes. And then we're going to try a new bronzer. This is the NARS Bronzer in Laguna, shade 4. I recently picked this up from Ulta. And this one along with the uh, Anastasia Cream Bronzer, I picked up both of these because I just wanted to try them out. And I was like, okay, I'm into the cream. I got the cream down. Charlotte Tilbury has been kicking everybody's butt. So I got Laguna 4. And then I did pick up something which I know you guys are like, really Mika? But I did check the new stock list and Sephora had a new, they need added new stuff to their collection. So this is their Trio Contour Palette in the shade Medium Deep. I did swatch this and I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's not one of those must-haves, but it's something that if you have somebody who's not into makeup or who is definitely trying to get into makeup, this would definitely be good for them. So I'm just going to try this to give me more of a soft, natural look to my face and then i believe that is it i didn't take out too much i kept it short and simple for right now so we have our color correctings we have our concealers we did stay low on the eye primers and everything else i'm looking up here to make sure i didn't forget anything we're pretty much good i kept it short and simple because i really want to do some more neutral colors this um september going into the fall and then adding only one pop of color and i incorporated some new things that i haven't tried other than that, that was short and sweet. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. You will see more from my channel coming soon. I have tons of new videos that will be coming out, so make sure you subscribe. I will be posting a video at least once or twice a week. And other than that, I will talk to you guys soon. Stay blessed. Bye.